I'm Jamie and today I'm doing a book review on the Titanic Lost and Found by Judy Donnelly illustrated by Keith Culler so this is a great book you can see it's level four reading it says reading paragraphs on the back so our curriculum squeezed this book in the middle of a bunch of level twos which was pretty neat the way they did that so it my son would be reading level two and then this book popped up level four and it was just a bit harder but not so much that he couldn't do it but it kind of gave him a feel for reading a more difficult book and then he went back to level two readers so this is the story of the Titanic. If you don't know about the Titanic, it was a gigantic ship that sailed a long time ago. And they made it amazingly, like it was supposed to be unsinkable. They put all these precautions, and this book actually talks about the precautions. There's a really nice picture of it. And even though they took all the precautions, it still sunk. It hit a iceberg that they saw too late. They tried to swerve away from it, but they hit it anyway. And it's just, it's just the story about how the passengers went through the steps of thinking that it was all a joke, like nothing serious was happening to realizing we're, we're probably going to die. And it was a lot of sad parts. A lot of families died. There was like, I want to say 2,000, maybe 2,200 people on board the ship and only 700 something survived. There was not enough lifeboats to carry everyone off the ship and a lot of people died. It was just, it was a tragedy. And this book talks about there, how there was a ship that was close enough that it could have got to the Titanic and saved everybody. But its radio was off. The Titanic kept messaging them, radioing them over and over again, but their radio was off. So they didn't come and save the people. So because of the Titanic, now all the ships, the cruise ships, have all these regulations to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And some of those are, there has to be enough lifeboats for every single person on the ship. The Titanic didn't have enough lifeboats because it was sure, the people were sure that it would not sink. So it only had lifeboats as like, something that they had to do but they didn't really think they needed it and they ended up needing it so now boats have to have enough lifeboats for everybody on the ship another thing that came out of this tragedy was ships have to have their radios on all the time just in case there is an emergency you have to have your radio on another regulation that came because of this is they have like flight control people patrol the airs, the airs, people patrol the air, looking across the sea in front of ships, around ships, and if they see an iceberg or something in the water, they will alert the ships. Because sometimes, like in this case, by the time the ship sees it, it's too late. So that, those are the three main things that people learned from this tragedy and how they made it different. They put in those regulations to try to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So aside from it being a good reader, it's a interesting historical story. There are actually a lot of books. The cover looks very similar to this. There's this one. There's one on King Tut and Pompeii. They're just really interesting books that the kids read. They're learning to read more difficult books, but they're also learning history. So this series, whatever it's called, is it called Step Into Reading? A History Reader 
If you see these books, you should pick them up. They're really good. You know, grab the ones that are appropriate to your kid's reading level, but they're historical books. And I always learn from these books when my kids are reading them. And even though it's a little more difficult than what he was used to reading, he's, he still made it through the book. And he was interested the whole way through because it was like, you know, it's, it's also a scary story that all these people are going to die. But good one on the Titanic. I encourage you to look it up. Uh, good words and there's not much else to say about it. It's a good, it's a good story, a sad story, but um, very interesting. And it was one of the books that I enjoyed reading when the kids come to it. And let me think, I think that's, that's it for this one. There's not a lot else to say. I will talk to you in our next video and I hope you're doing well. Bye.